I just try to get in shape. And <laughs> basically, if I'm in decent shape, then I can play and, and rally, and I don't get tired, and I won't make as many hand errors. But for me, if I can get my cardio and my legs and everything in shape for a tournament, because tournament play is way different than any type any type of play, as well, you you well know, and anybody that's played in a tournament knows. Um, I've watched some of the DVDs. I watched a lot of the doubles to see where guys position themselves and how they rotate. And uh, every time I have a you know get a chance to watch these pros play, you learn. Well, you don't learn, but you watch them, and it's frustrating. And they make it look so easy, and then you go out there and you may try a couple of their shots, and then before long, you're, you're like, "Wow, I'm hitting the shot that I watched Luis hit a nice pass, and wow, I hit that same pass." And it just kind of helps to see the pros do it at that methodical slow, smooth, the way they do it, and then it helps me to see that, because I like to learn by visually seeing something happen. Uh, it's hard for me to be told what to do, but if I can see it and then go out and try to emulate it, that's the best way for me to learn. That's why I love watching these guys play, and uh, watching film does help, although handball's going to be a life sport for me. I was in, in film rooms in the NFL for hours upon hours. So uh, I don't know if handball is going to ever get that. It's never, never going to be that serious to me. I want to keep it fun. I want to keep it relaxed. I want to try to get better as good as I can get, but also I want to have fun. And that, if it becomes too intense where I'm studying and practicing and doing all that, then you know, I might lose, lose a little bit of that, that fun that you have. It becomes too much. And uh, I love the game and want it to be an enjoyable time, and it always is.